everyone, Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter and Madison's Sawmill Directory, uh, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, one of our core products that was started in 1952 by Peter Madison was the uh, Canadian Sawmill Directory, which is a listing of the uh, all of the lumber manufacturing wood product facilities across Canada, we are now expanding to include the US. Uh, that has a lot more detailed information than just, you know, contact information like address and phone number, but uh, very extensive detail of the facilities, your primary sawmills, secondary remanufacturers, the panel mills, the plywood and OSB producers, pulp and paper mills, the cedar mills, shake and shingle. Uh, we include the wholesalers, uh, so those who don't necessarily manufacture wood but do sell at a large volume. And this information, of course, includes the contact, like the mailing address and the um, people's names and the phone number, but also includes what species do they handle, uh, the product mix of what they make, uh, the sizes. It includes uh, production volume capacity and goes so far as to include um, which uh, areas that they export to, uh, plus more. There's, it's, a, it's a big long list showing uh, as much detail as we can get for every single uh, of the 1,500 uh, mills uh, across Canada, soon to include the U.S. Uh, U.S. is about three times the size, so I'm expecting about 4,000 individual entries there. And so at the beginning of this year, we started, we were getting some uh, calls asking for uh, information on curtailments. And so we started a new product called Madison Sawmill Curtailment Lookout. The Lookout comes out once a month and explains all of the uh, changes to the manufacturing facilities across North America for that month. Uh, for example, if a sawmill burned down fire, uh, if there's a labor dispute, uh, some kind of stoppage to work, uh, and if there's uh, new mills uh, starting up, coming online, uh, new mills being built, or uh, investment. And that includes the uh, impact that that's going to have on the production volume. Uh, so, for example, when we had in um, May, uh, June, when some of the larger operators here in British Columbia announced that they were going into curtailment and it was like, taking uh, one line off uh, once a week for one week or for three weeks, all this, and then the uh, reduction in the annual production that that uh, change was going to make. Uh, and so we update that every month and it comes out uh, to, we were offering for free until last month for June. And now uh, since it's uh, been uh, going on for six months and uh, showing quite a long um, history and list of what the changes are to the mills. Uh, we're starting to sign people up for subscriptions. So let's have a look. I took some screenshots of uh, this month's issue for July and um, I'll explain um, in detail what these mills are and uh, what the changes to their operation is. Okay, great. And so this is page one, uh, again, of the latest issue uh, of what subscribers will look at um, when they sign up through the website or just send me an email either way. And uh, this shows the latest changes and announcements by the companies over the month. And so you can see starting at the top, Canfor making an investment in South Carolina. Uh, similarly, Western Forest Products doing some upgrading uh, at three of their mills on Vancouver Island. Tolco also doing an investment in the U.S. Uh, going down the list, you've got a couple of mills out of uh, America. Neiman uh, going to have to curtail because they're having trouble getting uh, fiber. And so on down the list. And so this we do every month. And you can see how we provide a timeline of how long it's going to take for whatever these changes that the companies are announcing and uh, what impact that's going to have on the production capacity volume uh, at each facility. This is page two showing you uh, more uh, news type releases in a text uh, format. Uh, specifically looking up there on the top left under the green heading um, sawmill production volumes, what we've done there is taken whatever the list is on page one and showed a range of the size of the facility. 
the actual directory gives that more detailed information per entry. And so that's what I mean by this is a complement to the full directory where subscribers can see, uh, you know, what I said, the product range and all the different um, details about the company, including what is the production capacity. So here for the lookout where we give you the monthly update, we show within what range of that production capacity each of those facilities that are listed on page one uh, have to give you an idea of how big they are and how much of an impact this current change that we were showing you will have on their operation. Page three, continuing on with the uh, news type uh, announcements. This might be the financial results, uh, staffing changes, you know, um, uh, investment uh, from outside the company, uh, different, uh, different types of information throughout the month across the industry with the different uh, producers or wholesalers or distributors uh, showing you right on time what is going on uh, that month at the end of each month. And then page four of the PDF that we email out to customers every month for the uh, Madison's Sawmill Curtainment Lookout is uh, promotional information regarding the directory. Gives you a lot of detail about uh, what I've been saying is actually in the directory, uh, information that a lot of folks need and maybe have trouble finding if they're searching around. The company websites don't always provide this. We go deeper to make sure we can fill out each of these fields uh, as much as we can and the links uh, go to uh, the order form and uh, more full information on the uh, what is in the directory, uh, contact information to myself or to the good folks at Lumber Blue Book that can help uh, inform you on uh, what is in the directory and how to get the directory. And of course, you can just go to my website uh, under the subscribe link and fill out a form to order any of these whenever you like. Okay. Fabulous, right? It's fabulous. It is something that uh, doesn't really exist that a lot of people ask for. We run the PDF off an Excel file. And so uh, the history for what those uh, changes have been is available. And uh, I expect to do some kind of uh, year end compilation um, showing, you know, the multiples of these different curtailments, uh, work stoppages. Um, for the facilities that we list in our directory. And so if any of this interests you, the sawmill directory is US $689 per year for a single user. Uh, like I said, we operate that uh, with our good friends in the US Lumber Blue Book. They do more on the finance side uh, credit ratings. And so between the two of uh, our data sets, the Lumber Blue Book and the Madison's uh, sawmill uh, listings. Uh, there are a few levels of subscription available, and um, but on the basic level with the uh, 689, as I said, you get on, at your fingertip all of the uh, available information for each lumber manufacturing facility all across the continent. And then uh, this um, new product that I started this year comes out once a month uh, as a PDF email showing you specifically the changes that have happened over that past month. So if, if any of this interests you, go on my website. The link is here in the caption and uh, at the subscribe uh, menu in my website, you can fill out a form. You can ask for a sample of the weekly lumber prices that we do every Friday, or you can sign up for any of these products, the uh, lookout, the directory, as well as the uh, BC Coast log prices that come out every um, once a month. The wood pellet prices come out once a month and the forest pulse, which is an overview of the uh, forest industry, the lumber industry and housing uh, comes out quarterly. If all you need is these little snippets that I do whenever I have time, usually quite a bit later than uh, it goes out to my customers, uh, then you can click subscribe here on my YouTube and you'll be alerted when there's an update and click like so that other people can have this recommended and they can also enjoy all the wonderful information that we provide here at Madison's.